Hello, hello, good morning. If it's Wednesday, it must be wow time. I am Nancy Matthews, so excited to have you with us this morning. And we are kicking off this wow Wednesday on April 20th. And um, I am super excited to introduce you to or reintroduce you to Peggy Lee Hansen who I have known for seven or eight years now, I think it is, something like that. Uh, and I'll tell more about the story about how she came into our community, but listen to this. She is your divinely sent book whisperer. And if you're listening in, I know that you are someone who has this yearning this desire inside of you to share a message to make an impact to make a difference and bringing those messages out in the form of the written word or doing videos like everything is about the message that you want to be sharing and peggy lee hansen is going to be guiding us today through five elements to writing robust content, robust content that really gets your message across, that reaches your audience in a powerful way. And I will say, you may want to listen in real close because I suspect there's a book in you wanting to come out. Maybe it's your first book, maybe it's your next book. So we're gonna have a wonderful conversation with our guest, Peggy Lee today. So thanks, Peggy Lee, for being with us. It is so much fun to be in this hot seat with you, Nancy. I'm, it, it's a privilege and honor, and it's just so much fun to speak with the WPN sisters, brothers, and the rest of the world. And if you're not a member of WPN, join join in. Do it now. It's a, it's Do good. it now. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> I'll plug you as much as you plug me. <laughs> Thank you. And that's, you know, we, we, we have it. We, one of our phrases is we may not have it all together, but together we have it all. So thank you for that. And let me mention a couple of announcements on some happenings we've got coming up in the wonderful world of Women's Prosperity Network. So first of all, this Friday and Saturday, we are hosting our two-day sales and marketing boot camp. And this workshop has created massive, massive shifts for people in receiving more money because getting skilled and comfortable at sales and marketing will bring you more people for you to be of service to. So you can check that out at womensprosperitynetwork.com. And then on Friday, April 29th, we're hosting, it's a Friday evening, uh, late afternoon, and we're hosting a happiness hour. We're going to get together for about 90 minutes, bring your favorite you know, adult beverage or child's beverage, I don't care, um, but let's come together. We're going to have a wonderful time celebrating one another, play some games and connect in a very relaxed, easy way. So you'll also see that on our website. Uh, and let's jump right in to Peggy Lee Hansen and the five elements of writing robust content to connect with your audience. As I mentioned, she is known as your divinely sent book whisperer. She is a multi-time, I don't even know how many times, um, international <clears throat> best-selling author, speaker, and publisher. And she works with people to support them in pulling out those messages that need to be shared so that they can be shared with the masses, which brings you more impact and more income. So welcome, my friend. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's, it's so much fun to talk about what I do. And if I misspeak, misspeak every once in a while, it's because my head is just going a thousand miles a minute because I get so excited about what I do and the people that I help to get their stories out there and into the world. Not only their stories, but their message. The message is really what's important because someone needs to hear what you have to say. Absolutely. Absolutely. Like you wouldn't have this you know, calling in your in your heart or in your spirit if you weren't supposed to share it with someone and help someone else. Because I, I know for sure that 
one of the best ways that I connect with you know the people that I get to serve is through sharing some of the experiences I've been through and overcome so that they can get through it um, faster and easier. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And true. sometimes it's those experiences that you don't want to talk about that will help someone else feel better about their experience or to help them clear their angst, their horror at, you know, something that has happened in their life that is basically unspeakable to, to them and to anybody else. But if they happen to just mention it in either passing or in a deep conversation with someone, you, you have no idea what another person is going through or what they have been through until you get to sharing your personal and most pressing, your, your hardest experience with someone. Yeah. And then someone, and then that person comes and thanks you for sharing your story because it just helped them release perhaps decades old trauma. Yeah. yeah. And so, and this is, I have so many questions about how this came about for you, but I really want us to start with you, the series that I see behind you, mm -hmm. um, the book series that you've done called Courage Under Siege. Uh, so, <laughs> <laughs> so amazing. Uh, I am privileged to um, have been involved in one of the projects. My sister Susan is in there as well. How did that come about, Courage Under Siege? Because it really dovetails on what we were just discussing a little bit. So how did that idea come into being? It does. It does. Uh, several years ago, uh, I joined Toastmasters after I was released from Northwest Airlines after they merged with Delta. And, and, excuse me. And I knew that I wanted to be on stage somewhere and to be a professional speaker. I wanted to be a writer. That's all I wanted. I just wanted to write. I didn't know what I wanted to write or how it was all going to come about, but I just knew that I, that's something that I wanted to do. And so to do that, I also knew that I had to be on stage speaking. So I joined Toastmasters. Well, along that trail, I took on the leadership track within Toastmasters. And for those of you that are not familiar with Toastmasters, they are a leadership and a speaker training organization, international. Phenomenal. Phenomenal, phenomenal. And so I took on the leader track. And with that, I got to hear hundreds of stories every month from different people. And I was in the state of Wisconsin and in the upper uh, Michigan. So I was in District 35 for anybody that is a Toastmaster. And um, so it just really started pressing against my heart that the, all these stories that I heard and that were, were being shared on a small stage and a, with a small audience were just going to stay there. And these were stories of people who survived divorce, who survived child loss, loss of a spouse. It was also funny stories, you know, because we all need to laugh. And, but there was just, it, the stories were so poignant and so persuasive. And it was just sad to me that they weren't going to go anywhere else. Mm -hmm. Now, the, this is kind of where the divine comes in for me because I am just a little bit intuitive and I consider myself like Claire audience, which means that I hear things, things are given to me. And um, courage under siege was that nudge from the divine and said, you can do this and you can share the stories. And this is the vehicle that, that needs to get out there. So that's how volume one came. And I contacted my then, you know, people that 
my mentors who really helped me get started. I asked them to be part of the book. I was also on uh, Gita Krishnan, who was also a member of Women's Prosperity Network. She had a Thursday gratitude show and I was on there and the, she announced it that I was putting this book together and for people, you know, who wanted to tell their story to contact me. And I had two people sign up on that call and I wasn't quite ready for it yet. You know, I had it out there, but I wasn't quite ready. But, you know, this day and age, as some of you know, you must be yes ready. And so that's how volume one came along. And then the same thing with volume two, I be began uh, with a group called Angel Chatter, who was started by uh, another friend of mine who I met um, in the marketing world so many years ago. And she's definitely the angel intuitive. Christine Alexandria is her name. And I heard so many stories and started understanding about all the clairs, the clairaudient, the clairessence, the, the clairvoyant. And these are people who were really shy about telling their stories. Or who thought, I don't know how to write. Exactly. Like, I'm a writer, so I can't put this out there. It won't be good enough. Absolutely. So with from the first volume, I created a template for specifically for those people involved in the Courage Under Siege series to make it easy for them and that they wouldn't have to stress out over what they were going to write. So I created this process in the training to make it easy, effortlessly and efficiently with their writing. And when they started, I gave them 30 days to write and they just, the, the beginning, they're like, I don't know how I'm going to do this. I don't know how I'm going to do this. And at the end of the 30 days, when they turn in their chapter, it was just like, I can't believe I did this. And it worked and it turned out, you know, so it went from, I can't do this to, I can't believe I did it. So, and, and that's how I want to go forward in helping people write their stories. What did they share it? write it with me or they write their own book or if they write it for somebody else to use this process. And, and we're going to be sharing a little bit about that process today. And I know you've got um, a resource for us, a template that we can get, and you've got a, a more in-depth class coming up. Um, and we'll tell you all about that in just a little bit. And remember that we're going to be opening up for questions uh, probably in about another 15 or 20 minutes. So jot those down and we'll open up the lines. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the blank page, right? So we need to write all kinds of content. And I think that, you know, insecurity or uncertainty, is this good enough? Is it going to create engagement? We've, I mean, I've written stuff that fell flat. <laughs> Didn't, nobody liked it or shared it. Uh, and we want to have our message really land with people in a powerful way, no matter what medium you're using to share it. So talk with us a little bit about some of the things we can do staring at that blank page. Okay. So the first thing is trust. Trust yourself and believe that whatever comes out of your head through your fingers, whether it's holding the pen or typing on your keyboard, that whatever comes out is true meaningful and that someone is going to hear it now i am the belief under the belief that even if you write it yourself it goes up to the heavens into the ether into the universe and that message lands on someone who needs it mm -hmm. Because I believe that we as individuals have that power, that we can do that to help other people. Um, another thing is, I have started so many email blasts to my, to my list of just setting my fingers on the keyboard. And it's just like, and I start typing, I don't know how 
or what I'm going to write about today, but this is what I'm thinking right now. So what I'm thinking about right now is the message that you might have. So it's, it's that um, conscious writing that comes in. So listen to everything that's coming in and write it down yeah. and don't just see, yeah, don't, don't filter it. Don't edit, don't do anything. Just keep writing it and do that for like three minutes you know, however time until, well, do it until nothing else comes. And then step back and take a look at what you read, what you wrote. And oftentimes you'll find that that's pretty darn good. Yep. <laughs> you know, you'll just surprise yourself. Comma. Maybe I need a comma over here or move this sentence up to that one. And it's, it all works. It yeah. all works. Yeah. Um, great. So as you're staring at that blank page, just start writing. Even start, I don't know what I should write today, but here's kind of what I'm thinking. You know, the other day I was, when I was at the store, this person came by and I was blah, and it, like really reflect on the things that are happening in your day-to-day -day life because there's lessons and messages and everything, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That, that there is, uh, most definitely. Yes. yes. Um, let's talk, uh, one of the things that you mentioned we've covered today is the strategy behind the system of getting your message out and into the world. So was that that stream of consciousness writing that you were just talking about? That is a little bit, but when you are writing, when you are writing for purpose, let's say, you know, you are writing a chapter of your book or a chapter for someone else's book or a white paper or that Facebook post, think of what your overall message is going to be. And when you do that, don't stress about it. Just allow what comes in and don't think too hard about it because it's when we start thinking about what the message is and what we really want to say, that can begin to stall our thought process and our inner knowing and allowing for what needs to come out from you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So just take it lightly. For today, my message is easy, relaxed, and just um, my, okay, here we go. See, step back. Whew, huh. uh, have fun today. Relax. Enjoy the moment. You know, Nancy's got your back and just talk about what you do and what you do best. So that was my message going in here today. Mm. So it's just something easy. It doesn't have to be for the world to know, but some of what you need to know and where you need to be. So um, for sharing stories, perhaps uh, the story that I wrote in volume one, uh, the title of my chapter was Lost and Found. And I wanted to talk about that, how in different points of my life, how I felt so lost, mm. but then Working with the people that I have throughout this journey over the last 10 years that I have found myself, I have found my spirit, I have found my, my religion, which is spirituality. Um, I have found my home, you know, especially with WPN and, and my network, and I don't feel so lost. Not that there aren't times when I still do feel a little lost, but now I can quickly turn that around. So that's what I wanted to share when I wrote that chapter in volume one. I got to tell you, as you're sharing this piece, and I haven't read your, that first chapter of yours in a very long time, so thank you for bringing it back <laughs> to my consciousness, I started getting goosebumps because that message of feeling lost and found, I, I can relate to that, and I suspect there's someone listening in today who's feeling lost and needed to hear that message from you so they could recognize where they can be found and i think that comes from um taking action and so if that if, if i'm talking to you i'm talking to you and you're listening in 
the fact that you showed up today is the path to no longer feeling lost. So connect in this community, reach out to Peggy Lee, because if you're in a space of feeling lost or hurting or struggling, sharing your story with someone such as Peggy Lee actually helps you move through it with more grace and more forgiveness, whether it's forgiveness for yourself or for someone else. And I think the whole process of telling your truths and sharing your stories is cathartic for yourself. It's healing, right? Absolutely. And things still kind of keep coming up. Um, another one of my mentors, she's my book mentor, my book writing mentor is Donna Kozik. She tells her story about standing in the, the grocery store before she became um, in her entrepreneur world, you know, really successful. And she was counting how much money in she had in her wallet to buy cans of cat food, how many cans of cat food she could buy for her cats that time, not food for herself, but food for her cats. And so she talks about that story. And then she got into uh, another um, group that helped her just like Nancy does, you know, with all of us in WPN of how to be successful in their business and to get into the, the right business that the science of rich also teaches us. Right. Uh -huh. And, and, uh, and there was still some things that kind of came up for her. And she says, you know, I was really surprised about that because she says I thought I was all through that. And, but we learn that we are different as we continue on because we keep growing. And as we fix one portion of that story, there might be another aspect that comes in that still kind of sends us reeling. Yeah. And I had no idea what this volume was going to do for people who wrote their story. And like you said, the cathartic process, the release process, the just breathing. Now I've told my story. Now it's out there. The universe well, is taking care of me. Well, and especially, you know, things that we've done that we're not proud of, that we're actually ashamed of, it's like such a heavy weight, right? And to be able to release that um, sets you free and sets the people around you free. Uh, and as a matter of fact, I see Debbie Montgomery Johnson is in the house and I'm sure that you've, um, maybe you haven't heard her story. So she came to, she came to a, a speaker training that we were hosting years ago. And she was there to use speaking to grow her business, which is benfocomplete.com, which is a natural sub supplement for neuropathy. And during lunch, you, I'm sure you know the story, Peggy Lee. <laughs> during lunch, one of the women at the table was talking about online dating. And Debbie just was like rolling her eyes and shaking her bed, head back and forth. And the woman said, what are you talking? Why are you? Make, shaking your head like that. Online dating is a good thing. And then she told her truth that she was involved in an online romance scam. And Debbie's here, so hopefully I'm getting the story right. To the tune of for two years, she had given someone over a million dollars and never met them in person. And that moment shifted everything. She got to be set free. She wrote her first book and published it. She's been on TV shows. She's active in SCARS, which is um, a, a community to help people recover from, you know, scams and things like that. Like we all have scars, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the key is to remember that they don't happen to you, to look at them, to see how do they happen for you, but not only for you, but for someone else, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. big stuff. Yeah. Um, as I'm listening today, oftentimes people think, oh, 
I'm not going to write a book. Why should I write a book? It's not that good. Or I don't know how to write. Peggy Lee will help you through that process. But what I want you all to really get today is that all of the content you're writing, social media, video scripts, email landing pages, email campaigns that you're sending out, use your stories to connect with people, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I have stories for the people that have written in the compilation series. I have people about stories that have written their individual books with me. Um, one thing that, um, that I ask you to remember when you do tell your story, not to be too worried about who's going to pick on, up on your message, because it could be something totally different that they cue in onto than what you are trying to, to, to share, to teach. Um, for instance, in, in one of the compilation books, uh, one of the, the ladies, her husband had passed away a few years before, and she is an intuitive, and she knows that he's around. She can feel him, and then plus she gets signs like all over the house. Um, one thing that they did together was collect shark teeth. And she has been finding shark's teeth where they shouldn't be, like under the bed or in the bathroom. But that is her sign that her husband is near. And then she talks about how sharks only swim forwards and never backwards because that's the that's how they breathe. That's how they get air in their lungs is to only swim forward. And another one of my authors read that story. And that was the point she picked up on. She says, I'm going to be a shark from now on. I'm just going to keep swimming and moving forward. That wasn't really the whole point of Dee's story, but that's what Anne picked up on, you know, so just be open. And it goes back to staring at that blank page, whatever kind of content you're writing for whatever purpose, mm -hmm. just start writing and trust what comes out mm -hmm. because Anne needed to hear about the way that sharks swim, not mm -hmm. about finding shark teeth which is what <laughs> the writer yeah. wants. Or the husband, you know, being around, you know, and whatever ability that D has, you know, for, for, for the Claire's. So. Um, let's do this. I'm going to open up for questions in just a moment. And I want you to share, you've, you've put two things together today for our audience to help them write that robust content. And when we talk about robust content, it connects to the heart of the person that you're you're here to deliver a message to and you may not know who that is you may think you know but right like even in that last example right the, mm -hmm. the, the divine knows more than we do <laughs> so let's, let's trust it. absolutely so when you hear those nudges get those nudges you know yes act on them so um i'll put the link in the chat i'll also put it on facebook but tell our audience um, how they can work further with you and what you have coming up. All right. So how you can work further with me is that on May 11th, I am hosting a webinar to talk about the five elements on a deeper level of writing robust content. And, and for that reason, I call it robust versus anything else because it's just, it's nice and juicy. It doesn't necessarily have to be that engaging, but that kind of comes into uh, where it's more robust. More people are going to be enticed about that. So, and then you don't have to worry about, are they being engaged? You know, are they, it kind of takes the honest away from you to, to write the right stuff. Mm -hmm. um, and so <clears throat> the, 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 um, the webinar is only $11 and know, it's like going that, to be, that's again, awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and it's the angel number 11, you know, so I love that too, that reference. Um, so it's bit.ly forward slash write robust content. So we're going to spend the time 
to delve into each one of those elements deeper. And the five elements are, you know, your message, uh, a quote, the backstory, the main event, and then the wrap up or the summary. So those are the five elements just right off the top of the head. And if you want to know a little bit more about those elements as well, uh, you can go to freechapterwritingguide.com and get that um, guide as a gift for, for you. And again, that's freechapterwritingguide.com. And I'm putting both um, those links in the chat right now, both on Facebook as well as uh, here on Zoom. So, um, so what's the date of the class? The date of the class is Thursday, May 12th at 1 p.m. Eastern. Beautiful, beautiful. And, um, and here's the thing I want everyone to really get. Whether you think you want to write a book or maybe you already wrote one remember that you're writing all the time if you're an entrepreneur or business owner we use words to convey the message that we want to reach our audience so whether you're putting posts on linkedin facebook doing reels for instagram this formula that she shares will be your guide to create juicy, robust content that really reaches your audience. So I highly, highly, highly encourage you to join her for the class uh, on May the 12th. $11 is a deal of Rama. So grab that uh, and go to bit.ly forward slash write, W R I T E. <laughs> so because she's going to teach you how to write the right way, but you know, you got to spell it W R I T E, robust content bit.ly write robust content uh so you can register there i've got the links in the chat go ahead peggy lee you got something to share while i get the queue ready i do and for anybody that signs up today while listening to this uh right now live i will give you a bonus to get an extra one-to-one -one session with me Whoa, 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 whoa. You didn't tell me you were going to do that. <laughs> I know. I, I listened to the nudge beforehand. So that's what we're going to do. So anybody that registers for the webinar today will get a one-on-one -on -one session with me. Wow. So I pay $11. I get the 90-minute training and a one-on-one -on -one with you. Yes. To have you guide me and pulling out those messages and that stories. Because let me tell you, the other thing that's really key, and then I'll be opening up for questions in just a moment, is being able to tell those stories in a way that's concise and compelling at the same time, which is not always easy, right? No. Uh, because sometimes you can get wrapped up in the emotion of it, give way too much detail, and then you lose the audience in the process. So um, is that something that you, we might get on the one-on-one -on -one with you? Absolutely. I have worked with people that says, oh, I'm going to rock the world, you know, because or my family's world, because boy, do I have a story to tell. And it's just like, okay, well, you can tell the story, but let's step back a little bit, you know, and, and discuss how we can do it on a gentler way, a better way than, you know, because right now you might be hurting a little bit and you really want to like suck it to somebody, but there's a better way to tell it. And so definitely we will talk about anything that you want to, you know, even if it's that story that that is something that has happened to you that wasn't so great in your life that you want to share. And I can help you with that as well. Um, it's so compassionate and intuitive. Um, like, even if you can't make it to the live class, and you should, and <laughs> do the $11 to have that one-on-one -on -one opportunity uh, with Peggy Lee. Uh, all right, let's open up for question. I hear Deborah L. Morrison is in the house. Yes, I am. Well, Peggy, this is quite the offer, and um, I believe that um, people do have um, stories within them, and it's impossible for us to know individually the ripple effect 
And I encourage anybody that hasn't written a book that has a passion or a story or a message that they've been given, they've lived or they're expecting to live and they're open to living to touch base with Peggy because she can draw it out of you. That She's your coach. She's going to give you that kind of guidance as to which direction to take with it. And to her point, instead of it being a socket to someone, <clears throat> some group, some mm-hmm. heritage, it's mainly about our <clears throat> healing. That's my impression. I'm not going to jump t- uh, Peggy's turf because it's not my lane. Yet I have written a couple of books. And for my money, it was for me to be able to express myself and the audience has received it uh, as it turns out very well as our audiences will. And so I think it's sometimes particularly surprising to women to think, Oh my gosh, you know, I became bestseller, right? Well, of course you became bestseller. Mm -hmm. And the fact is the only time better to become a bestseller is 20 years ago, like planting a tree, but let's be at it now because time is one of our most, valuable assets, time and health. And if your story can be the link to someone else's freedom and save them time, months, days, years of suffering, thinking they're the only ones, then it is high time that we get pen to pad, typewriter, you know, to keyboard, to whatever, and to Peggy's uh, ears and to her ability to put that down on paper and encourage us to put it down on paper. I couldn't be a bigger advocate of writing a book and doing so with the kind of guidance so that when it's done, you will just clutch it to your chest and you'll say, yeah, this is an extension of me. This is my message. This is part of why I'm here. And then we look on to the next book. <laughs> so congratulations, mm-hmm. Peggy. Uh, you've done so many uh, wonderful series. I, I just... I think you're fantastic. I think that the kind of you know gift that you give to people that are floundering about how to get started is not to be missed. And for the love of Mike, for this price, if anybody has a book that hasn't been written yet, jump on this. Love it. Thank you, Deborah. Mm-hmm. Hi, this mm-hmm. is Susan. Hey, Susan Glusica. No, no it's Susan, Susan D. Roberta. Oh, Susan D. Roberta. Hello, Susan. <laughs> <laughs> Forgive me for oh, that. Yeah, it's, good. <laughs> it's the other Susan. Yeah, oh, that's okay. That's okay. Susan's a very popular lately. Uh, so I know Peggy Lee for I don't know how long. Uh, I think as long as I've been with WPN. Uh-huh. But I am in her compilation. I have worked with her before. I am in uh, Courage Under Siege, and I wrote a chapter in there called When Prince Charming Isn't Coming, and it was a wonderful experience working with Peggy Lee, given the, um, you know, we all uh, have a story to tell, and it's, well, how do we do this? How do we get it out of us and on paper? And um, and she and and uh, to have it uh, be the 2,500 words or how many words we're supposed to have it, the guidance, the teaching, the support, everything was so perfect, and it's out there, you know. So um, I am so thankful to Peggy for her expertise and for her um, just just being a great friend as well. And so we've discussed. Uh, my doing my book, you know, it's time uh, for me to write my own book. You know? Agreed, so, so that will be this year. So I'm definitely going to be to in this webinar. It's wonderful, uh, this opportunity. And I look forward to working again with you, Peggy, on a one-to-one basis to uh, write my own book. And I will be on this webinar. I wouldn't miss it for the world. So, <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, dear heart. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Wonderful to connect with you again here. It's been it's been too long. It has. I appreciate you so very much. Thank you so much. I look forward to your book, your next book coming out. Oh, yeah, we just right. We discussed what it would be like. And and anyone on this call who is wondering um, or hesitating or thinking, and now is not the time I'll do it later Do it, you know, just jump in and uh, be at the webinar and uh, really tap into how you feel about this. Because intuitively, you will know if it is right for you. And uh, 
uh, exactly how Peggy described it is um, pretty much how I work as well. And you will know if you're in the right lane for you. Yeah. Okay. Susan, I got to tell you, as you're sharing, as um, yeah. Deborah shared, as I'm hearing Peggy Lee today, and you're talking about you sharing your story, and I have goosebumps like so all over the place because here's what's happening from today like prophecy. Mm -hmm. Every single one of you is here because you were, this is a divine appointment. It's not a coincidence that you're here today. And, and, go to Peggy Lee's webinar, get that one-on-one -on -one with her, whether you ultimately work with her or not, this is the message for you today. You mm -hmm. have to, you must get your message out there because someone needs to hear it just like you needed to hear Peggy Lee's message today. Like, wow. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> thank you thank you yes. thank you yes 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 absolutely <laughs> i love it okay. I'm seeing, laurel's like i have so many inside of me lisa's like i got my next book coming and um yes we need you we need you because the world needs you we all see so much that's happening that we would like to see better and you're an integral part of the plan like, mm -hmm. we, we all are. So thank you, Susan. Let me go um, to a couple of our other callers today. Uh, Vismaya uh, Rubin. Hello, gratitude today. We keep wearing your shirts. <laughs> <laughs> I saw, and I have to tell you, so both of you inspired me to jump back into Science of Getting Rich. So Leah Loney and I are on day 10, I think, day okay, eight, day great, 10. Great, So. I watched the one where you were both wearing a, a Living in Gratitude Today shirt, and I'm like, that's it, I'm doing it. So I called her up, and we started super excited. Love it. But um, as of right now, I don't have the desire to write a book, but what kept what I kept hearing was, you know, the power of writing and the importance of writing, but for social media, for other things. So I was like, the opportunity to to play and to work with you for, for an afternoon was very exciting because you and I have had conversations, and we've... We've talked, you know, even after um, a, a mini workshop we did a few weeks ago, you were so brilliant and so um, it was so easy to just play with you and, and create something in the few minutes that we were together that I'm very excited to to see your brilliance and to to watch you take take control and, and, and learn the things that you have to share. So this moment, I'm not going to say never, but at this moment, the book may, you know, is not there. However... I can see the power for all the other things that we really need to to share our message. And let me let me ask a question, Vismaya. So, uh, are you part of our series for Journey to the Stage? You are, right? Didn't you write for I'm that? in two of them. Yeah. So I have contributed to fifteen or sixteen different anthology books, compilation books. Um, so maybe it's not your own book that you'll apply this to as well as your social media and your email writing and copy. Mm -hmm. um, but think, I want you to think about this and this is just coming in for you. When was the last time you contributed to a book and what has happened in your life since then? <laughs> mm -hmm. just, just saying. <laughs> I hear you. <laughs> I hear you. I, I contribute to an anthology every single year. Oh, wow. And it's oh, 200 wow. words a year. 200. I have a little bit more robust chapter that I offer my people because it's a promotion tool as well in my series. But I do at least one a year. That was just a little seed planting for you, honey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, hear, I heard you. I know mm -hmm. you did. I heard you. I'm not listening to you right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ignoring you. No. <laughs> You know what? You can I, the seed has been planted by both. Oh, people. it has been planted. Yes, I guess. Remember you. what what you resist persists. So be open to those nudges. But I do like that you say. You know, it's not never because a no, friend of I'm not mine had never. Yeah, I, I'm definitely not saying never. And and you know, all jokes aside, Nancy, I heard you. And there's definitely information and things that have happened this past year that. 
have um, impacted me me greatly and have amped up you know, my level of my gratitude practice and need to be out there and shared with people because it's made a huge difference. So I'm excited to, to play with you, Peggy Lee, um, on the 11th and to have a conversation with you. And, you know, the offer you made is like a no brainer. Like it's not even All right. Like that's ridiculous. It was. So thank yeah. you for the offer. Thank yeah. you for, for sharing your wisdom and I'm excited to play. You are so welcome. Thank you, Vizmai. I look forward to it. And I just want to remind everybody it's Thursday, May 12th is the date of the okay. webinar. 90 minute class. And when you register minutes. today, you'll get a one-on-one -on -one with Peggy Lee as well. So you want to go to bit.ly right robust content and that's all lowercase all one word bit.ly forward slash right robust content and uh, i'm going to open up we got lots of people in queue so i'm going to move on and let me just mention dr Roz. that is vismaya rubin she's a gratitude gangsta what you can go get her t-shirts at livingagratitudetoday.com. <laughs> good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. You are loved, appreciated, celebrated, valued, and most cherished. Maya, I got to get in contact with you because I need the design for that statement. So um, I will um, have to catch up with you and go look you up. But um, Peggy Lee, you know, this is, you know, always good. I, you know... I, I haven't been active. It's getting warmer. We're in the trucking industry, but I, it's good to be able to listen. Sometimes I can't because I got to pay attention to what I'm doing. But um, Maya, I want to say this to you but since they said it. Um, I have my first solo book, but I have anthologies like 9, 10, 11. I got I to gotta go make a list. And, and yeah. looking at you, I need to go make sure because I think I have them scattered throughout the house, but not together, like in my office for Look the, how like she's a display. Got all the books, right? Yes. So I need I need to do that. But you know, I like the anthology thought because of the Bible. That's what I think about. Because there were many cool. books of the Bible. And um, but I don't I know that it's time for me to do my solos. And I thank you for um for the one philosophy. Nancy, because that still, that gives me value for myself, because we all have our different um, layers of fear or something that is distracting to do the completion or the finishing of what our gifts and our brilliances are. So I just want to say, y'all, y'all know how I feel about WPN. Hey, <laughs> wow, 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 win, win, win. You are loved, appreciated, celebrated, valued, and most cherished. Y'all have a great God, amazing Wednesday. Thank you. Thank you. So thank you. Uh, Roz, I tell you, I just love it when I, when I hear you say that. You could have that on a recording and I could listen to that all day long. It's well, like, you know what, Peg? I, I've been praying and I think what I'm going to do, I, I, I'm starting my own publishing, but I think to have you as a sister that is a part of WPN to help me to create the special book for yeah. that statement. So, um, you know, just keep that in prayer. We'll be talking. And um, thank you so, so much. Nancy, when God says it, uh, just send me that necklace. If he says, oh, it's time to give that necklace to Roz. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> um, not quite yet, my dear. This is a very special piece for me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it is. I have so many people that ask me something. I'm like, uh, my daddy gave it to you, but it's let, lovely. It's lovely. Let, I love your you pieces of jewelry and the way you have coordinated your necklines when you do come and present to us. So I love it. So I love all of y'all that I didn't get to hear. And guess what? Keep on supporting. Go find another sister and bring them to WPN where they will have a treasure chest of love, appreciation, and being cherished. Love y'all. Mm -hmm. Take care. Thank you so much, Dr. Roz. That's beautiful. Ah, let me go to uh, Laura Barker, then Olivia and Angeline. So Laura Barker. Good morning. Oh my goodness, Peggy Lee. Um, mm. so first, I just have to tell you that, uh, so I wasn't feeling great this morning, actually, or even last night. And, uh, but I thought there is no way I'm going to miss this today. No way. And so, and I'm so glad I didn't when, you know, Nancy was saying, this is a, 
a divine appointment. It so is. And I, I'm big into process, but also creativity and heart. And so I have a big problem with blank page syndrome, right? I, I just sit and it's just this white thing and like, oh my God, I don't even know I'm going to start. And so, uh, but hearing your process for that, just to allow, and this is what I took from, from like your whole uh, discussion today is chill, right? Just chill <laughs> and, and, and let it flow. Don't try to stop it. D don't edit, just write it. And then you can form it after that. Is That's what I have taken from this. And I also had not contemplated writing like a book from my heart because I'm all about LinkedIn, you know, it's very technical and let's, you know, do this. And that's kind of what I've focused on. It's not out yet, but I, I'm working on it. But hearing you today, it's like, wow. Yeah, maybe. Because I have a lot of stories that I know you know, every time I share a little bit with somebody, they're like, oh my gosh, you have to write a book, you know? There you go. And, and, and I love the, opportunity of an of being a part of a compilation book because it's a little too overwhelming mm -hmm. to think of like a big you know book of my own well mm -hmm. until you work with peggy lee because i know you just <laughs> did a writing retreat and i was talking to susan glusiga and she wrote twenty thousand words what? <laughs> over over yeah. twenty thousand oh, words my goodness yeah, yeah. Wow, Peggy Lee. And let me just, for everybody who's listening, let me just say, I, I do know Peggy Lee, and she is a phenomenal human being. And the ability to have a, a training from her on the 12th, and then to get to meet with her individually, holy cow, $11? Are you kidding me? Oh, Peggy Lee, you are so generous. And I cannot wait to uh, spend some time together. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you, Laura, so much. And I hope you feel better soon. And I'm so grateful for you as well and for coming on and saying your kind words today. It means everything to me. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. I learned from you too. I learned from everybody here. So, you know, it, it takes a village. And it may take the WPN village along with some other villages, but it is, it is, this is a most phenomenal space. So I said at the top of the hour, if you're not yet a member, what are you waiting for? Get in here, you know, and, and let us hold each other up. The, the, I am home with the Women's Prosperity Network and with the women inside it because there's only co-opetition, no competition. It's just a beautiful space to learn, to grow and to succeed. And to get to know everybody, I, you get a, you get a chance to be spotlighted and to share your brilliance. Because once again, someone needs to hear what you have to say. Beautiful, beautiful. Ah, oh, thank you, Laura. Thank you, Peggy Lee, for those kind words. Um, let me go ahead. Next up, Olivia. We only have a few minutes left, so I'll go to Olivia, and then oh wait, there you are, uh, Angeline and Pastor Darlene. All right. Thank you, Nancy. I'll be real quick. And I have to agree with Peggy Lee and Laura. You just get so I've gained so much courage with uh, WPN. And it is indeed it is divine, just like you said, Nancy, because I actually participated in writing with an anthology and it was purely by happenstance. I was invited to do a uh, heart note. And real, it was via Draw Your Way to Abundance. And I got connected with the book. And it was amazing. I was like, oh, my gosh, I'm in this anthology. And so it, it, participating with this gives me that courage to whatever's next. There's still that story inside of me hmm. that I need to, to yeah, go yeah. ahead and, like, share. And with that, goosebumps yes. happening right now, my friend. <laughs> yes, I, there's this story inside, and and being a part of WPN has given me that confidence that I need, and just the support is there. 
to keep yeah. going. And even just as I gathered my I story with, uh, you know, my business and sharing why I am a beauty consultant with Mary Kay, but even just my personal, you know, ability to keep going and not I, give up. You're, um, can I um, offer you something? Sure. I'm a leadership and style consultant. Mm-hmm. Or leadership and beauty consultant. Because I think I know you mm-hmm. and leadership needs to be in your title. Mm-hmm. 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 Just saying. Okay. <laughs> yes. yes, yes. So I thank you, ladies. And that gives me the courage to keep going. Yeah. And, and to go ahead to tell my story, it's there. And there is somebody out there that needs to hear what I have to share. Um, thank you, Olivia, for being part of our community, mm-hmm. for sharing your truth and continuing on, right? Um, so I appreciate you. Let me share one more time the link you want to go to to register for the, um, the training with Peggy Lee, the bonus one-on-one, all for $11 is... Uh, bit.ly forward slash right robust content content right robust content all lowercase um, <clears throat> and join her for that class and and I have a message for all of you that are here that have said I was in this anthology B I was in this anthology book are you marketing it are you letting people know or is it sitting on the shelf or the copies in your garage and you're not letting people know about it Like, this is me, you know, a little bit of, you know, velvet boot coming in. (laughs) Dr. Pat Rogers is one of the best at maximizing her contributions in compilation and anthology books. So if you're not Mm -hmm. doing it, get your butt to the sales and marketing boot camp this weekend. Mm -hmm. And because you are a part of a compilation book, you are an author. You are, you have your name in the chapter contents or on the book cover, front to back, whatever, you are an author. Break it up. Yep, absolutely. Um, question that I have from Facebook from the beautiful heart healer, Eileen Gottlieb. I love you. Please forgive me. Thank you. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> she said, is this offer open only to WPN members? Um, if so, let her know. Otherwise she's going to post it to other places. So the bonus with the one-on-one, is that just WPN or you want the whole world to have that? If, if they sign up today, they can have it for the world. Thank you for sharing, Eileen. All right, let's do two other quick ones. Um, Pastor Darlene, Angeline, actually, did you lower your hand? She might've had to go. Um, let's go to Pastor Darlene. And if Angeline, you're still here, we'll fit you in for your question or comment. Good morning, Nancy and Peggy. Oh my gracious, this was so delicious. <laughs> and, and I want to say something you, you just mentioned, Nancy, that I was guilty of and will not in the future. I have participated and as Roz was talking about hers, I had my notebook here and I started writing down all of the anthologies I have been a part of. Perfect. And so that's something I'm going to pick up and begin marketing, talking about. I'm all in for the 12th, going to be there uh, in that class on the 12th. And my uh, question is, I'm really looking at, I've written books before, been an author, but this book is a little different because this is about my journey with my husband as he is walking through his recovery from the stroke and my transition to becoming caregiver. And I'm just wondering, um, you know, that that's something I probably would need some guidance with. So I'm looking forward to having that conversation with you. Have you worked with people that did those types of stories? Because we all have a story. And, you know, how, how has that process been? Yes, I have worked with people that are still kind of like in the process. Yes. And so we work it through, we work through what is happening at the moment. Everything is inside the moment. And if there's still some pain and heartache, you know, that still needs to be worked through, 
I can help you work through that so that you, you come out gentler so that the people who are reading your story or hearing your story can get the most out of what you have to say, of what you, of the knowledge that you have gleaned thus far being inside this process. Absolutely. That's wonderful because this is a different type of book that I'm writing. Um, I've written devotionals, I've written books of encouragement, but this one is my own personal story. Okay. And so um, it, it has a different, a different twist on it. I'm looking forward to the writing process. So I am excited about the 12th of May and my time to spend with you. And Nancy, again, always out of the ballpark. <laughs> <laughs> So, so much. I Look so who I get to pl play with. Come I on. Know, like we play with such wonderful people. <laughs> Thank you. My pleasure and my purpose. <laughs> Thank you, Pastor Darlene. Oh, I look forward to working with you all. This is just that it's, it's an amazing journey and it's a blessing for me to be able to give this to you. Beautiful. Yay. All right, everyone. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for stepping up to share your message as part of the fabric of healing the world. So thank you for stepping up to that. Peggy Lee, I love you, my friend. I am so grateful for you. And uh, I'm looking for, I paid for the class yesterday. So do I get the one on too? Yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I have like three different books, and I um, so I'm really eager to speak with you. So thank you. Yay me! <laughs> yay you! Yay you! Most definitely yay um, you. Yes, it's May 12th. The class I may have misspoken, said May 11th. So it's eleven dollars on May the 12th. Uh, go to bit.ly forward slash write robust content. And if you're still listening and you got a book that you already wrote, but nobody knows about it, get to our boot camp this weekend. We will lovingly give you a little boot. <laughs> <laughs> Poem. <laughs> All right. All right, everyone. Have a beautiful, blessed day. Uh, until next time, get out there and be the one for others as well as yourself. Bye, Peggy Lee. Bye, everyone. Bye. Thank, Thank you. you so much. You're welcome. Bye.